Guys, what is going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. Guys, let's talk about Vasily Lomachenko. Vasily Lomachenko is going to make a return on June 26th against Mayushi Nakatani. Uh, Nakatani is 20 fights, 19 and 1. Uh, one loss coming to Tiafimo Lopez in a fight where Nakatani gave, you know, Tiafimo a lot of trouble. Uh, he was very credible and he was a great fight. Now, um, it's not the fight that we want to see Lomachenko in, but it's a credible fight. It's a good comeback fight and it's a fight which, you know, he should win. But Nakatani is going to ask a few questions. Nakatani can really fight. Um, you know, I think Lomachenko has been out of the ring too long. Um, but when we say too long, there's not been a lot of talk about his ring return. We know that after the Lomachenko, I mean, after the Lopez fight, he had trouble with his shoulder, was it? Did he have surgery? Um, so he's managed to now have that surgery, rest up, heal up, and now he's looking to get back in June. It's going to be interesting to see Lomachenko back. He's, you know, I can't wait because uh, Lomachenko, for me, he's still got a lot to offer. A lot of people have wrote him off after one loss. Um, and I don't think he deserves the stick that he's got. I think the fight between Lopez was very close. Uh, and I think Lomachenko could beat him in a rematch. Why, why couldn't he? You know, a lot of people are writing off Lomachenko and saying he's not this, he's not that. Just because of one loss, which was like a 7-5 fight, which was a very close fight. And everyone's writing Lomachenko off, calling him rubbish, calling him a hype job. A, 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 the quickest three-weight world champion in, in, in boxing history. And he's a hype job. You know, people questioning Lomachenko's credentials. Like... Go check his amateur record. Check what he's done as a pro. Check how many how many you know fighters he's just jumped in top level and beat in such a short space of time. You know the guy's legit. Don't don't question Lomachenko's legit legit whether Lomachenko's legitimate because trust me he is. He's a legitimate guy. He's one of the one of the best out there, right? And just because he's taken a loss in a very close fight, by the way, against Lopez, and people try to make out Lopez schooled him. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Be real with yourself. Call it how you see it. Lopez didn't school Lomachenko. It was a very good fight. Uh, it was a close fight, which Lopez nicked. By no way he got schooled. By no way Lomachenko got dominated. Right? You were obviously watching the wrong fight. Lomachenko gave up the first early rounds. He was probably surprised by Lopez's power. And then Lomachenko started becoming more active in the second half of the fight. But it was too late. You know, give Lomachenko his credit and respect. The problem is with boxing today, you've got guys like Lomachenko that are testing themselves, fighting the best time and time again, jumping in there, going up weight classes, fighting bigger men, and all we want to do is when they lose, oh, he got exposed, oh, he's rubbish. That's not how we judge and rate fighters, man. Give fighters respect. There's too many guys that are padding up their records today and, and you know, getting credit for it. Oh, 30 and 0, he's a slick to 30 and 0, but look at his record, he fought nobody. And you got guys like Lomachenko who's like, yeah, 16 fights, 14, I think 14 fights. I mean, 14 wins and two defeats. But look, he fought in it for a world title in his second fight. Who does that? He fought for his world title in his second fight. And people say, well, when you've had that many amateur fights, it's like, a, no, no, it's different. The amateur game and the pro game is different. Come on. Listen, man, I, I don't think fighters get the respect they deserve. I don't. Lomachenko is a quality operator and he deserves the respect of a quality operator. I don't think he gets the respect he deserves. I don't. One sec, guys. I don't think he gets the respect he deserves and he definitely deserves a lot more respect than he gets. You know, I, I just feel boxing fans are ruthless. They're ruthless. And Lomachenko for me is a legit guy. He's a credible, he's a, one of the best out there. Simple as that. Hopefully, hopefully uh, we can see Lomachenko in there with Lopez again. I, I, I don't think that fight will happen. If I'm totally honest with you, I don't think, I don't think Lopez, I don't think Lomachenko will get a Lopez fight. Uh, because I don't think Lopez wants it, personally. Uh, that's just my opinion, the way I've, I've gorged it. Listen, Lopez did great beating Lomachenko, but I really want to see that rematch. The, the, the fight, the first fight warrants a rematch. It was a very close fight. But what Lopez is doing, it's kind of like he's won the first fight and he's thinking, why should I risk going and fighting him again when it was a close fight? If I lose, 
then everything that I'd done in his first fight kind of goes up in smoke. Now, a lot of people think Lopez wins the rematch as well because they think he's too big, he's very skilled, he's powerful. I don't. I think Lomachenko will, will press the action a lot earlier next time. Um, but if I'm honest with you, if I'm if I'm totally honest with you, I don't think we're going to see that rematch again. I think Lopez is going to go on and fight other guys. He's probably beaten Lomachenko and he's thinking, why do I need that? I think Lomachenko made a huge mistake of not having the rematch clause in the contract. And it, you can say it's complacency, you can say it's arrogance, you can say what you want. But the fact of the matter is that Lomachenko made a huge mistake not putting the rematch clause in the in the contract. Because Lopez and his father, they're, they're going to do their own thing. They're fighting Cambosis, then they're probably going to fight... They're probably going to fight, you know, someone else, or they may move up. I, I, I think they may move up. I think, I think Cambosis, and then I think, Lo, I think Lopez will move up to one forty. I think if, if he may target the winner of Ramirez uh, and uh, Taylor for the undisputed, and look to become undisputed at two weight classes. I do. Uh, so I, I think Lomachenko may not get, ever get that rematch ever again, uh, which is, a, which is a shame because I would love to see that rematch. I think it's a great fight. Um, Nakatani, listen, he's going to come up and put up a fight. I think I do expect Lomachenko to win. Um, but it's more the next move after that. Are we going to see a Devin Haney clash? Are we going to see a Lopez rematch? Uh, I'm very skeptical about the re Lopez rematch. I don't think Lopez will be interested, if I'm perfectly honest. And that's not knocking Lopez. I just think that if you're Lopez and you've beaten Lomachenko, why would you want to go in there again and potentially risk losing and, and giving up what you've gained? Because when, when you've, when you've you know, done the impossible, people thought you were going to get beat and you're going to get, you're going to get beat easy and you've gone in there and pulled off a shock, right? You want to keep doing your, you want to keep building and building momentum. You don't want to fight that guy again, potentially risk losing what you've gained. So, I can't see him wanting to fight Loma again. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'll make a video and say, you know what, credit to Lopez. But from the way they've acted after the fight, uh, maybe they're just upset with Lomachenko making some excuses. And listen, Loma did make excuses and, and that didn't sit well with Lopez. But I don't think he would have fought him regardless, if I'm honest with you, uh, even if there weren't no excuse. I just think that they've won the fight. They want to move on. And probably look to fight other guys and look to cement their legacy by beating other top guys, which is fair enough. It's just the fact that I think the Lopez Lomachenko fight was close and it merits a rematch. You know, some people saying that the re fight, you know, the Lomachenko Lopez fight doesn't merit a rematch. Why? It's a close fight. Are you honestly telling me that that you know fair enough like Fury Wilder fight was not close and he got like Fury just mauled Wilder. So if people say that doesn't merit a rematch, I can understand. But this was a seven five type of fight. It was a close fight. How can you say this doesn't merit a rematch? That just doesn't make sense to me. Um, I think it's a great fight. I would like to see it. I think Lomachenko can beat Lopez, but I think Lopez could beat Lomachenko. That's what makes it great. And those are the kind of fights we want to see, right? We want to see contests. We want to see guys fighting at the top level. We want to see the best fighting the best. That's what makes it competitive. That's what makes sport great. And I want to see Lomachenko fight Devin Haney. I want to see Lomachenko fight Ryan Garcia. I want to see Lomachenko fight... Javante Davis. Where's Javante Davis gone? Javante Davis was saying he wanted to fight Lomachenko. And now he's moving up to 140 to fight Barrios. Why isn't why isn't Javante Davis chasing Lom Lomachenko? I I don't know why he went up to 140 to fight a guy that's not even a that's not even a super champion. He's not, you know the two champions at 140 are Ramirez and Taylor. Why is he moving up to fight Barrios when he when Lomachenko's free when he could just fight Lomachenko? I don't understand. I don't understand. I would love to see Javante fight Lomachenko. Why is he why is he fighting Barrios? If you look at Javante Davis, listen, I respect Javante Davis, a good fighter, but it feels to me like him and his team and Leonard Ellaby, they're looking to pick and choose their opponents. Right? Um I feel like Lomachenko would be a great fight. Lomachenko would be a, a super fight for me. Um but between him and Davis. I really like that fight. And I think Davis has a good chance of winning, especially the fact that now Lomachenko has come off a loss. He's mentally, might be, he might be affected mentally. And, and J Davis has got serious power. He showed it against Santa Cruz. Now, Lomachenko is very skillful, but L Davis can crack. You know, I, I just feel like it's time for...
hopefully Mayweather's team decides to, you know, give Javante Davis the big fights. I want to see him doing big fights, man. I want to see him in there with Lopez. I want to see him in there with uh, with uh, Haney. I want to see him in there with uh, Lomachenko. I want to see Davis fight all of those guys, man. Um, because I, I'm pretty sure Davis isn't going to fight the winner of Taylor Ramirez, right? So... I don't understand the jump to 140, if I'm honest with you. And I actually think the fight's a dangerous fight with, with, with Barrios. So, you know, I think a fight with Lomachenko would have made a lot more sense, right? Lomachenko's a skillful guy. He's not the biggest puncher. He's not a huge 140 or 135. I think, and the fight is bigger, generates more interest, generates more uh, revenue. It, it just makes a bigger fight. So I don't know why they didn't push for that one, if I'm honest, but... Maybe because they think Lomachenko's coming off a loss, then they, maybe they, they're trying to build that fight up again. I don't know, but I'd like to see Lomachenko fight Javante without question. I think that's a great fight, great style matchup. Uh, hopefully, uh, those teams can make it. That's another thing. With guys on different platforms, with different promoters, these fights, man, they're hard to make. But I really want to see Lomachenko fight all of these guys. Now, I think Lomachenko is with Top Rank. I think Top Rank have a better relationship with DAZN. Uh I think Devin Haney wouldn't mind going over to, to ESPN to fight Lomachenko. Uh, it just makes sense, man. It just makes for great fights. I want to see all those fights, man. I want to see all those fights. Lomachenko, Haney, Lopez, Ryan Garcia. Hopefully all these guys start fighting one another. Uh, because we all want to see it. We all want to see these guys fight one another. Um, will they? Only time will tell whether they fight each other. Hopefully they do. Hopefully they give the fans what they want to see. Um, but yeah, what do you guys make of Lomachenko v Nakatani? Who do you think wins this? Do you think Lomachenko stops him? Do you think it goes decision? I think it might go decision. Nakatani is no slouch. Nakatani can fight. It, you know, who, who knows? Nakatani might be dangerous for Lomachenko. I do expect Lomachenko to win. But, you know, Nakatani impressed against Lopez. He troubled him. You know, a lot of people started doubting Lopez after the Nakatani fight. But Nakatani was a decent fighter. So, yeah, that's a good fight. Let's see what happens. Let's see if Lomachenko can impress on his comeback after his defeat against Lopez. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. And, guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.